Which camera are you looking into? This one. Whoa! Magnus, so how do you say question time in Swedish? Det är nu dags för frågor. Ask prior to 008, so you want to take one, Mark. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Hashtag Ask Firebase. And it's a great one because we have Magnus on the team. And fun, fun fact about Magnus is, is that back in 1990, he won the silver medal in disco dancing in Sweden. Whoa! And a fun fact about David is that for two straight years, he had to sit and program in the ancient programming language Ada. Hashtag true story. We have lots of great questions this week from Twitter, Stack Overflow, YouTube, and uh, what are we waiting for? Let's just dive right in. Sure. It's, it's question, question time. time. One, two, three, four. So this first question comes from David on Twitter. Great name, David. But David asks, when will you support Angular Universal? Right, Dave, so I know Angular, but what's Angular Universal? For those of you who don't know, Angular Universal is a tool that allows you to do server rendering with the Angular framework. And that's really great if you're trying to get really fast first paint times with your apps. Right now, we currently do not support that with the Angular Fire 2 framework, which is a library I'm working on, but that is only because we're working on shoring that up with some of the other Firebase features like you know Firebase storage and also getting it up to date with the new release candidate with Angular. But once we get a lot of that smoothed out, we're gonna work with the people on the Universal team to get that working together. So just sit tight, David, and just watch the repo at github.com slash angular slash angular fire two. Great question. Dink. It's question time. So the next question is from Burke from Twitter, and he is asking, is it necessary to remove listeners from the database? And Burke, it absolutely is. Your activity or your fragment that's using the database reference, its lifetime may expire. And in that case, that listener will be dangling in the memory of the Android device. And that's very, very bad. So you must absolutely make sure to remove all of those listeners when your activity or fragment goes out of scope. And you can use the activity activity or fragment lifecycle to manage these. So on start methods or the on pause methods to create a listener, but also remove it when you've left. So that's something really good to do. Great question, Burke. And we've come to another question. So this next question comes from Adam on Twitter. And Adam asks, are you going to update Angular Fire and then re-record the screencast? You didn't re-record the screencast? Yeah, I did. And we actually updated Angular Fire to the brand new Firebase 3.0 SDK, and then just last week dropped the brand new screencast. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. Great question, Adam. So have you done this one? Hey, Magnus, let's answer a question. Sure. The next question is from Peer, and he's asking, what is the best way to manage the cache in the real-time database? And the long answer, Peer, is you don't, because the cache is maintained by the real-time database behind the curtains. And we don't want to expose that API so that apps can depend on the cache in any way. All of that stuff is done automatically by the Firebase real-time database. There is no need to access that cache. But a really solid question. We've had it before. It's question time. So this next question comes from Danielle on Twitter. And Danielle asks, is there a way to get a list of users in my app? Hold on from the authentication API or the real-time database? Actually, you would use both. Oh. So if you go to the Firebase console and you go to the authentication tab, you'll see a list of your users you know, from your app. But if you wanna get them programmatically, you'll need to save them as they create their accounts to the real-time database. And if you wanna make sure that data is secure, you can just write security rules to match against their UIDs. So that is a great question, Daniel. I've done that. Yeah? Yeah. Was it fun? It works. Firebase. It works. works. Can we start filming this in 3D? Let's dive into the next question. Absolutely. The next question is from Mian, and Mian is asking, can I get the storage size of a document or the duration of a video file or the number of downloads for an entity stored in Firebase storage? And Mian, yes, you can. There are a couple of things to this. First of all, there is metadata stored together with all of the things stored in Firebase storage. So the size of the file you can get using standard metadata fields. Then you can also create custom metadata fields, fields that you actually populate. So when a user is uploading a video, for example, you could set 
the duration of that video as a custom metadata field. Yeah, but what about the number of downloads? That's right, the number of downloads. Same thing as for the duration. You can use a custom metadata field that you populate when the thing gets uploaded to Firebase storage, yeah. or better yet, in perhaps in certain scenarios, you can store that data in the Firebase real-time database. And what's great about using the real-time database and storage together is that they use a similar file path data structure where you could say slash file slash file name and then map that to a path in your real-time database and then just use similar security rules in both storage and real-time database to keep that data secure. Thank you, Mian. Yeah, really good question. That simplifies a lot. Oh yeah, I love security. Firebase, works. it works. So Magnus, last week we had Doug on and we answered all these questions from AndDevCon and he told me you were there. So what were you up to? If you want to code, then you should code. So code away. Get up on the floor. Firebase! That's right. I was there. I interviewed a lot of Firebase experts. Did you interview Frank? Yeah. But did you interview Mike? Sure. But did you interview Sarah? Absolutely. Timothy? Yeah, Timothy's great. Jennifer? Of course. Doug? Absolutely. Frank? Sure. Sam? Yeah. So if you want to see more Firebase content, you should check those interviews out for the inside story. So Magnus, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see his interviews with the Firebase team, just make sure to check out the link in the description. And we will see you on the next episode of Hashtag Ask Firebase. Question. Next question. <laughs> Next what? <laughs> next question. And go like this. Like one of Next question. question. <laughs>